Yep, I predicted it. Developers have started to copy Souls RNG in mass with multiple anime RNG clones and other clones, and today we'll be exploring how truly horrible these Souls RNG copies most likely are. Starting with Anime Roulette, which is you guessed it, Souls RNG, but Jesus anime. Yeah, Roblox is doomed. Anime Roulette. <laughs> Oh God, not again. Let's roll. And it is the exact same. I was right, y'all. Super rolls. What are super rolls? What do they do for you? Okay, so this game is pay to win. I actually decided to buy some rolls and they are as OP as they sound as it really gives you a serious boost to the things you are able to get from the game, making the game as pay to win as possible. The game also copies the crafting system from Souls RNG because without it, the game would be naturally worse than Souls. Although, I think the game is still worse because of the pay to win elements because at least souls had the DC to make majority of the game free to play But it's like comparing garbage to even worse garbage So you can even you could get 50 of these. How much does it cost though? Oh my god 2500 robux for 50 spins I also found something really scummy that the devs did that really is just a bad look for the game Although the game already is pretty bad in its own right So they added pity to the game, but you don't even get pity for the normal roles. It's only for the super rules yo whoever made this game you're so smart for that but you're you're scum of the earth but yeah although this game promotes a heavy focus on microtransactions the game is still being played by thousands of people somehow with the game itself sitting at around 16,000 people playing it which is just a game that exploits anime fans that just so happen to be interested in this horrendous genre of game i did say that i predicted this outcome and i guess i should have never even jinxed it to begin with i'm sure there will even be an anime version of souls rng very soon that will take advantage of anime fans on a platform with the success of RNG games being so prevalent, it's bound to happen. Then, not only do you have Anime Roulette, there is two other anime RNG games under the same exact name right now. And both of these games have under a 50% like to dislike ratio, which pretty much tells you all you needed to know. One of these surprisingly was made by a YouTuber under the name of Jixie Jax. But nonetheless, let's see how bad his game really is. Roll. Oh my god. So wait, do you turn into the character? Oh my god. <laughs> It's not just ores in this game. You actually could turn into your favorite anime character. This is literally free model Luffy. I can tell by the hat, dude. This is literally a free model in Roblox Studio, bro. But as I kept playing, I started to understand why this game is so lowly rated. I assume Jixie Jax really wanted premium payout from his viewers. So we turned the rates down so low that they would be forced to look at free models from Roblox Studio for hours on end. Because obviously this game took like two weeks to make. <laughs> and of course, every RNG game just has to include an obby for a reward, which usually is a boost to your luck for a certain amount of time. It's like these games didn't even bother straying away from Souls RNG one bit when including something like this in every Damn. game. But not only is Jixie Jack's game a copy, but someone decided to make a copy of his game as well with another game under the same exact name, Anime RNG, that has the even lower rating somehow on Roblox. I don't know how this is possible. How does the shop in coming soon? How do you not even complete the shop of your game before releasing it how on to blaze of chance which is another disaster of the rng genre but this time the game advertised itself as souls rng but with swords and pvp well the game has swords and it has pvp but no one said that they had to be good. Blades of Chance is managed by one of the people who controlled the scam that was Anime Clash, and following in that game's footsteps was an AFK lobby where thousands of people sat and waited on this obvious disappointment to release. The game released to over 50,000 players somehow. It was probably the most hyped up RNG game up until this point, but the game itself was absolutely trash. One thing that I immediately noticed was that this game had a gem system, which has not been seen in any other RNG game, and that was the biggest red flag to this this game but i just want to see like what do the chests give you what even is this aura this just looks bad who would want to use this this is so ass like what now the main point of the game was the pvp right well that was also an afterthought somehow when it's literally the main selling point of the game oh shoot oh oh yeah oh yeah come here bing bing bing, bing. oh 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 shoot oh oh this oh my god i killed him <laughs> 
Like, I genuinely think that Sword Fights on the Heights had better PvP than this game. <laughs> the developers got so lazy that majority of the weapons have the same swing animation as well, with a lot of the weapons just being reskins of each other. The even crazier part is that PvP gets rid of your aura from your weapons, so what is really the point of rolling for these weapons when as soon as you start PvPing, it gets rid of the main design of the weapons? Completely defeating the purpose of having PvP and also having auras in your game. Then everyone just AFK, so you can hardly even fight in a game that has PvP in it. Because who could have guessed that RNG games and PvP probably wouldn't go together when the main point of these games is to leave your PC on overnight to roll for reskinned auras. I assume all of these bad decisions is what led to Blades of Chance losing around 70% of its player base in the first few days of it being out. Because it literally doesn't do anything correct that it was advertised as doing. And even the things that it does kind of do correct have been lazily done in order to say, oh, it's different from Souls RNG, look at me. When in reality, Souls RNG is damn near the better game. Moving on to Hades RNG. Basically, Hades RNG is another RNG game that is promoted as being a fighting PvP game. What is going on? 500 rolls just to get auto roll? Getting brain rot. We got stoppable smash. Oh my god. What was that? Yes, I understand the game is in dev. I can read. The game essentially only has like less than 10 ores in game that actually have movesets and the combat itself isn't very good. I did beat up this one guy multiple times though and had a little bit of fun with it, I guess. You can't hit me with my combo. You're done. <laughs> GG. <laughs> But naturally, the game is just another Souls RNG game that is being talked about as this next best thing, when in reality, it isn't even close to being that yet. No RNG game actually is, but I digress. Just want people to take a second and realize that this video only covered about 10% of the RNG clones that have spawned in the last week or so. There are so many more popping up each and every day, with even the most blatantly bad games somehow pulling players from this trend. You must wonder sometimes, how does this look from a smaller developer perspective, who actually wants to make genuinely good games or Roblox, but sees these RNG games with to no effort blow up out of nowhere. I would be crushed as far as motivation goes, but this comment made me have a bit of sympathy for the Souls RNG devs. Souls RNG started out as a very niche community game that actually had life filled servers with people who would talk and enjoy playing the game together. I have a hard time believing that, but this made me realize is that all that it took was for the greedy developers to see where this game then monetized and decide to exploit that to the maximum with their game. It's sad to see the genre blow up and it honestly reminds me when Battlegrounds games blew up, but at least those games could be classified as actual games but i guess that's why roblox renamed their games to experiences to further make my point that rng games are not even actual games they are simulators for the people that decided that they would just give them premium payout for auras that's literally it but i digress if you guys enjoyed this video and you like to see more content like this one don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace